Okay. See if she wanted a blue or red. Just clipped it. No, no, no. Oh, date. Oh, might be able to get him. Did you say she wanted a red one? Dang it, the red one's hat messed me up. Oh, dang it. It's not gonna work. Ah! Those lizards are twitching. Try one more time. Dang it. Grab the tail, grab the tail. No, ah. Uh. I just want you to reset it. 
いらっしゃいませはい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。はい。は
am I going to do? Oh, what to do? Y you! Excuse me! Er, uh, um, well, the thing is... You want something from me, don't you? Let's hear it, then. Yes, what I'm trying to say is... Uh, um... Listen, whatever you're chewing, I can take it. Spit it out. I... I have a favor to ask. C can you... Please be my boyfriend. Say what? Am I hearing you right? I said, please be my boyfriend. Please? Pretty please? What, just like that? Your boyfriend? You mean, like, you want to be a couple? Go on dates? What the hell? Yes, that's exactly it. That's what a boyfriend does. You'd be my one and only. B boyfriend. Right. Okay, back it up a step or six. What the heck's with this little lady here? Just run up to me on the street demanding that I be your man? Every girl I meet these days makes me understand even less and less. Gotta get it together. Can't let her know she got under my skin. I'll give her a strong answer. Like, don't ever think you've... Don't even think you've won, little lady. What do you say we start as friends, huh? No, no, I need a boyfriend, not just a friend. Come on now, let's hear that extra syllable that says you're mine. What? You can't just expect a man to jump straight to the girlfriend step. Gotta be more natural, you know? Oh darn it, I've left out a few details, haven't I? I should clarify, I guess. I need you to pretend to be my boyfriend, not actually be my boyfriend. Excuse me? Pretend? Hi. Yes, you see, my father is visiting from back home, and he's demanding to meet my boyfriend. For several years now, he's been hounding me to meet suitors he's arranged for me. He was getting so persistent that I finally got fed up, and I told him I already have a boyfriend, so back off. I also told him my boyfriend is thin, wears an eye patch, a cool ponytail, and has a dangerous air about him, kind of like the blade of a knife. Why would you give him so many details? And why did you just describe me down to the buttons? I never thought I'd have to introduce him to my father, so I just kind of made it up as I went. But then Dad started saying, I have to see if this boyfriend is worthy of marrying you. So here I am. And I've got a big problem. Okay, I get the picture now. I fit the bill, so you want me to act like I'm your man in front of your dad. Wow, you catch on fast. That's pretty much it. If dad finds out I don't really have a boyfriend, he'll force me into an arranged marriage with some strange man I don't even know. Please, nobody else looks anything like you. Could you be my boyfriend for just a little while? The girl's in a pickle, all right. Who'd want to marry some guy they don't even know and end up spending the rest of their life with him? Fine, you painted yourself into this corner, but I feel your pain. I'll pretend to be your boyfriend. Yes! I'm so glad I didn't lose hope. Huh? Oh, my name is Kokoa. Please call me Koko-chan. Oh, and sorry, I didn't catch your name. I'm Goro Majima. I see. Then Majima-san, I will address you as Goro-chan. Goro-chan? We just met. That's taking things a little fast, don't you think? No, no. I know it's just pretend, but we are in a romantic relationship. We can't be so formal with each other. We have to make this believable. <clears throat> if you say so. Yes, I do. Well, let's not waste any more time. We should get going. Like, right now. Huh? I'm getting exhausted already. And what's this about going? Going where? Come on, try to keep up. We're going to, to the restaurant where we'll meet my old dad over dinner. The three of us. We're gonna meet over dinner? I got nothing to say to your dad, Coco-chan. Make it so we meet, shake hands, and then let me go. Why don't you? Bing, bang, boom. Oh no, that won't work at all. Dad won't be reassured unless I show him what kind of man my boyfriend is. We have to go now, go chan Get a move on. Damn. I don't know what I was expecting. Here we are, here we are. Voice. 
So, Goro-chan, this is where we'll meet my father. I only have two requests. Please don't reveal that you're just pretending to be my boyfriend, and don't anger him. You got it. But what's all this about making him angry? Your dad gets pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed, and he babies me more than he should. But underneath it all, he's as good a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried too. You see? So if you start saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and be all like, Forget this guy. I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problemo. So, let's go over my boyfriend's backstory now. Excuse me? I need a backstory? We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make, okay? Dentist, likes movies and driving. Favorite food is om omelet rice. Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about my boyfriend, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, can you make sure you've got it memorized? Well, he ain't exactly making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. We've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going out on drives and watching movies. And you love the omelet rice I make, okay? Ah, I'll give it my best shot. There he is! Dad! Over here! So this is Coco-chan's dad. I like his space case of a daughter. He seems pretty buttoned up. Goro-chan, this is my father. Hello, I'm Coco's father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm, I'm seeing, Goro Majima-san. You know, now that I think about it, meeting a girl's dad for the first time is super important for a normal couple. This could end up making an impact on the rest of her life. Guess I better buckle down and get into this role properly. No different than at the Grand, right? First impression's key. What do I open with? <laughs> Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm Goro Majima. Majima-kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? Oh no, in fact, it's quite the opposite. Kokoro-san has stood by me at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is their erosion of c courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even manage a proper introduction. You seem different, Majima-kun. That's right, Dad. Goro-chan's not like those stereotypical men. Good. First impression went well. Playing the respectful, respectful type was a pretty slick move. Majima-kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon? Well, my daughter described you as a man who is tall, yet slender-waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a deadly aura not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist, yet here you are, in the flesh. See, Dad? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right here in front of you. Yes, I figured he was another figment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> While well, they do seem to be on good terms, and her dad's a decent guy too. Stern, but decent. Oh yes, Majima-kun. Kokua may have mentioned it er already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh man, I think Kokua mentioned that in the backstory she gave me. I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes, that's right. I'd heard you were a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. Not the face I'd expect from a dentist at all, to be frank. I get told that often, yes. Oh, Dad. You're being so rude to my girl, chan I'm just glad I remembered what Koro-chan told me in the back, hack job of backstory. Incidentally, Majima-kun. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Koko? Oh, well, that's... Uh, I didn't ask you. I asked Majima-kun. But, but, tell me, Majima-kun, how did you two get to know each other? What the, he's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? I gotta explain how I supposedly met Koko-chan in a way that would make him more suspicious. We happened to sit next to each other at a movie theater. That's how we met. 
At a movie? Come to think of it, Kokoro did mention you enjoy movies. Yes, like I said, Koko-chan just happened to sit next to me. That flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief. And the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, girl-chan. I can't believe you came up with such... I mean, I remember it like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so romantic. Well, what a fortuitous meeting then. I'm just glad she didn't meet her boyfriend in any places she shouldn't be. Of course not. My girl-chan is a proper and decent man. There. I woven Coco Chan's backstory and came up with a tale that rings true enough. Majima kun, I'm going to put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? D Dad, why would you put him on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Kokoa, but I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent, like a child. It keeps me awake at night, worrying about whether or not you'll even manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give you my blessing for a marriage right this instant. Dad, uh... That's why I need to ask, Majima kun What about Kokoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my soul here. Because I can't blame him. His daughter's future is on the line. I don't like tricking him. But I told Coco chan I'd go along with it. Gotta find a good reason why I find her so attractive. I fell in love with how great the omelet rice she makes is. Oh, I must agree with you there. Her omelet rice has a special quality to it. I love it too. But Majima kun, if that's all you can see my daughter, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelet rice that you want, you could just as easily marry a cook. Dad. Damn it. Tapping into Coco Chan's backstory backfired. From her dad's point of view, he'd want a guy who'd appreciate his daughter fully, not just for her cooking ability. Oh, uh, would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. Don't fall in. Wait a sec. They're powdering her nose. It's down to just me and her old man. Damn. Awkward. Watch, Makun. Yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for playing along with my daughter's lie. Eh? Her lie? I got no idea what you mean. What lie? <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Was it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I could tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I wasn't her father for all these years for nothing. And why'd you go along with this dumb charade for so long? Mm. Kokowo was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? I'm sure it's because I kept pushing her into dates with all those suitors I'd arranged for her. You know your daughter well. I saw right through her. I lost my wife when Kokowo was still an infant. I raised her alone, without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well, so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. No more pushing her to meet potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. What's that? Someday my daughter's going to bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this might be good practice. Practice, huh? Thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Bah. Still ain't a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell ya, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Coco Chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affairs. Like getting married. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Coco-chan. So listen, your dad actually knew. Majima kun. Yeah? Kokoa, you've done well finding this man. 
I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad! I know, right? Goro-chan's a super guy, so this means you'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes. I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome! It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll walk you back, Dad. Goro-chan, thank you so much for being my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Goro-chan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be my boyfriend. <laughs> Glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. Five pieces of fluorite. Why do you have this? Whatever the case, I think I'm free from Dad hounding me to meet my suitors. What a relief. That's good. Yes, well... I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Oh. Yep. When you get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. Bye now. Kokowa, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hmm. Something wrong? Majima kun. There's one last thing I need to say. What's that? Majima-kun, I'm glad I got to talk to you. You went through all the bother pretending to be my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> I was trying to put a fast one. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why... I'd like it if you would be my daughter's real boyfriend. Excuse me? Well, what'd you just say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for real? Consider it, a mo consider it for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? Because you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust our future to you. Whoa, slow down. I'm having trouble believing my ears. You can start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. Anyway... Huh? It's that girl from the other day. Back, kiddo? I told you it's dangerous to hang around here alone. Hey, sir. How about you drop the sir thing, huh? Now what's got you hanging around here now? Come on now, speak up when somebody asks you a question. I'm looking at the blue chestnut the squirrel doll. What? Now it's the blue one you got your eye on? Yeah, the blue chestnut is super cute too. If you say so. So you got your heart set on that now? No. You got me one the other day, and I'm happy to have it. I'm not greedy. I don't have a daddy. My mommy's at work all the time, and she says there's no money for frivo frivolous things. So I just wanted to come look at it. Hmm. Well, you ought to head home soon. Don't want your mom worrying about you, do you? I know. I just want to look at it a little longer, and I'll go home. Every second you stick around this part of town, you risk too much, kiddo. <sighs> Only way to keep her safe is to grab that blue squirrel when I get a chance. Well, good thing I already have one. Still staring at that chestnut the squirrel doll? Huh? Oh, yeah, I am. I have one of those blue chestnut the squirrel dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Look, here's a blue chestnut the squirrel. It's a blue chestnut the squirrel! You take care of him. Squirrels ain't my thing. Really? I can't believe it! Everyone's going to be so jealous when I show them at school tomorrow. Jealous of that little thing? <laughs> yeah! The other kids always talk about their daddies buying them dolls, and they show them to each other. I get left out whenever that happens. 
but now I'll have something to talk about. I'm glad for you, Scamp. But I ain't your daddy. Mm, I wouldn't really know, but don't daddies buy things for kids? I suppose it depends, but that's a dad thing, yeah. I knew it. So if I did have a daddy, he'd be kind of like you, right? Huh? How you figure? Because you gave me two dolls. Uh, I did, but... See? And you look old enough to be a daddy, so you're just like a daddy to me. How old does this kid think I am? I wish you could be my real daddy, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know that ain't gonna happen, right? Well, can I just call you daddy then? Say what? Oh, you don't want me to. Your choices are sir or daddy, huh? Ain't too fond of either, but what's the right play here? Call me whatever you want. I don't care. Really? Yay! I like Daddy best, then. I'm getting some mixed feelings here, kiddo. You best get back to your mom. <sighs> okay. Bye, Daddy. You take care on your way home. What have I got myself into? Hi, I need money. Can I get your money? Thank you. How much do I have? There we go. Oh yeah, I was gonna visit the shrine at some point. Oh my! Oh no. Eh. I can deal with it. Oh, never mind. What you got her eye on this time? Hey, you with the eye patch. Eh? Give me your money. What, are you trying to shake me down? Guess I'm getting too famous around here for my own good. You're famous? Can I get your autograph? Buy my name on it, too. Naoya Kawashashi. 
So you can brag the folks back home you met someone famous you never even heard of? Don't you laugh at me. You don't know who I am either. My crew's 25,000 guys strong, so you better show some respect. Cool story, bro, but if it were true, your little gang would rival the Tojo clan in size. I ain't buying it. I'm not lying. I've got a real reputation back home. Alright, if you say so. So why are you here on your own? The other 24,999 guys run out of gas on the way? I'm a lone wolf, that's all. Lone wolf of 25,000 friends to comfort you when you get a little lonely? What's with all these questions? I'm just here in town to have some fun, but I need cash for that, you know? What, you didn't bring any money? <laughs> Why do that when there's plenty of it here? So you're just a kid from the sticks who came to the city for a good time and you're being folks up to pl for play money. You picked on the wrong city slicker, though. Your little Sonbori's Grand Circle Tour is over. You don't want to give me your money without a fight? That's fine by me. Ah, no, 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 X charges up your health and heal a little. I need to get healing items. Get out of the corner. No, 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 no. No, get up. Son of a biscuit! Move! I'm. What did I get stuck on? What was I stuck on? Thanks, loser. Huh? I bust my ass to earn that money. What do I care? If you want it back, you're welcome to come back and try the same thing on me. Now, where should I spend your hard-earned cash? At a pachinko parlor? Maybe I should treat myself to some sweet time with some sweet ass at a cabaret. My precious moolah. I can't let this slide. I gotta beef up and get it back from him. With interest. Now I'm hurt. Oh. Oh. I also need oh, I don't have money to gal dang it. Oh. I got nothing. That guy's running in place. Where's the shrine at? Temple. Okay. Come on, you. wooden bear. Come on, 
In you go. We need stamina. Royales, please. Okay. I don't check your backup yet though, so be careful. Ah, there's the temple. Get real, you leech. What's all this, then? Screw your little sales tax. You want us to pay a tax every time we buy something? You bloodsuckers. You'll bleed the whole country dry. I understand. Your anger is justified. But it's a necessary evil for the sake of the nation's people. Get stuffed. You're gonna pay sales tax on that fancy suit that you're wearing, you damn bureaucrat. This tax is only made to keep the common people down. Yeah, you vulture. The younger man is sure taking some heat over some kind of tax issue. Guess it's my lucky day to run into the son of a bitch bureaucrat trying to spring the seals tax on us all alone in a back alley, no less. I don't like your tone, sir. I represent the voice of the general populace, and I'm here to tell you we're fucking pissed. Yeah, why don't we give you a little taste of public opinion? Then you'll know what oppression feels like. Please, calm down. Violence isn't the answer. Don't do this. Uh oh. This pot's about to boil over. Please, calm down. Shut it, asshole. Hey, fellas, let's tone it down. No sense gang up on one guy. Have a little pride, eh? What? You don't know who this cockroach is, do you? It's the pencil pushing dickwad that came up with the sales tax. Sales tax? What, don't you watch the news? It's a new tax they're going to start charging next year. Every time you buy something, they're going to charge you 3% more as tax. Isn't that ridiculous? That is some bullshit. And this guy's the douchebag? That's highway robbery. Ah! Whoa, I about lost it for a second there. Listen, guys, I totally understand why he'd piss you off. But beating this guy to a pulp isn't going to make the sales tax go away, is it? Who gives a shit? The government needs to know what the people think of their shit policies in a way they'll understand. Direct action. Yeah, power to the people. If you ain't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. You want to stick up for this mosquito then? We'll show you the power of the masses too. So what you're really after is blowing off steam. Sure, see how far that gets you with me. Prepare for the revolution, asshole. Okay. Well, I got a bat. I'm sorry, I was out of line. It won't happen again. <sighs> Public outrage sure frizzles fast. I know. Thank you for stepping in. Those people were out for blood. I'm Tayo Matsuzato. Tayo, as in the sun. If I, if I may, can I buy you a drink as thanks? <laughs> That's a good name. I'm Majima. No need for any thanks though. Yeah. Oh no, I absolutely insist. Sounds like you got your work cut out for you, though. You some kind of political big shot? Well, I don't have much in the way of rank or power, but I am in a position to help steer the country. I came to Sonbury for a conference on taxation policy, but I wasn't prepared to face the public about it. You're driving a tank called the government. Even if you're careful, people are going to be pissed when you steamroll them. But you're trying to make this country a better place to live, right? You got to take some pride in that. Do you think so? I knew people would be unhappy with the new tax, but only on a logical level. 
When I saw how emotional they got about it, well, it was daunting. They find out that the sales tax is only the tip of the iceberg and that there are more taxes on the way. I hate to think how the people will react. What are you more taxes on top of the sales tax? Right. Nothing's set in stone yet, but we're considering many more effective ways of generating revenue streams. In fact, at tomorrow's conference, I have to give a talk on some of those proposals. Not so. Well, I guess with everyone making such good money these days, you can't fault the government for wanting to get their hands in the pie. Yes, but as you've seen firsthand, we have to consider public opinion. I wonder if I can really come up with a tax policy that everyone could live with. Good luck with that. Even if they're throwing the cash into the fireplace, nobody wants the government to hold on its hold out its hand. Yeah, that's where I'm stuck. I haven't found the right balance, and I'm a little lost at the moment. Well, I can't say I understand a lick of what you're trying to do, but take care of the country for us, right? But wait! Majima-san, can you help me just once more? You got another mob waiting to string you up? Yeah. Oh no, not that. I want to get your views on taxation. What? I know less than nothing on the subject of taxes. That's why you're perfect. You see, I just had this idea. Perhaps someone who's completely ignorant of taxation can offer an entirely different perspective. You think? Please, Majima-san. It's no exaggeration. The fate of this country rests on your shoulders. Will you please give me advice on taxation policy? Okay. <sighs> okay, okay. You win. Let's talk some taxes. Thank you. Your insights will be invaluable. But this is hardly the place for it. Can we go somewhere more appropriate? Sure. Lead the way. But I wanted to visit the temple. Now, you better keep in mind, I don't know the first thing about tax policy. Don't expect much from me. Hey. No, that's exactly why I asked you. I know you'll have some unique insights, not bound by typical conventions. So you're basically hoping to strike gold in a copper mine. Well, let's just make sure you're not completely in the dark with a basic question. Sure. Majima-san, do you know why the government collects taxes from the people? It's for providing public services, right? Ah, yes. That's exactly right. I'm sorry for asking such a basic question. Just as you said, Majima-san, taxes are collected mainly for providing public services. Education, medical care, the police, fire departments, and so much more are paid for by taxes. They pay for services that the people need to survive. Yeah, we gotta build roads and bridges and keep them in working order, right? But there's more to it than that. Exactly. They also serve other purposes as it pertains to general wealth, but we don't need to go into that much detail. Like I said, there's a whole lot I don't know. <laughs> oh, but aren't you interested in where your money goes? It's always good to know more about taxes. Yeah, I'm getting proper school in here. Okay, let's shift to the main theme. Majima-san, if you were in the position of collecting taxes from the people, what would you tax? Why not charge taxes on tobacco? Tobacco, you say? Interesting. Since the government monopoly on tobacco products ended three years ago, there actually have been a small tax on tobacco products. Yeah, I smoke myself, so I don't really want to pay a tax on them, but I suppose they're non-essential. And if you're going to jack up taxes, it's the non-essential stuff that you start with. People might even be more likely to understand a tax on smokes, right? I see. A tobacco tax. Yeah, a tax about 200 yen now. People will bitch and moan, but I think they still fork over 300 yen. I see. Interesting. At the 400 yen mark, though, I think I'd have a long, hard think about each pack being worth it. <laughs> yes, I think at that point I'd consider cutting back on my intake, too. And what about 500 yen a pack? I'd probably quit cold turkey. You'd quit at 500, but if we raise it incrementally... Huh? You started muttering all of a sudden. What else do you think would have potential for taxation? I think something that's closely tied to everyday living would have the best potential. Tax tied to everyday living, huh? Pretty shrewd. How about jacking up the tax on gasoline? Ah, a gasoline tax. Why not? People with cars are obviously living it up here. Why not skim a little more off the top? 
price of gas is dependent on the cost of petroleum, so people have experienced price hikes before. It should be used to price creep, actually. There's also a provisional tariff on gas tax. Yes, there's certainly room to raise taxes without too much notice. Hey, why all the muttering? You not feeling that one either? Oh no, far from it. I think it's a fantastic idea. I will definitely follow up on it. Oh, good to hear. Majima-san, anything else? Do you have anything else to say on the matter of taxation? Anything else about taxation? Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. Well, I was thinking about that sales tax those goofballs were all riled up about. Yes? So next year, we gotta start paying 3% on top of everything we buy, right? Yeah. Yes, that's how it works. Well, why stop at 3%? Sure, you can go in at that rate, but wouldn't you get more if you bumped it up? That would be impossible. Majima-san, you saw what happened. Just a 3% tax cost so much outrage, people wanted to tear me apart. To charge more would probably end in open yeah. revolt. No, no. Taiyo-chan, you ain't thinking. People are pissed because you sprang a new thing on them, and you had to turtle up. You gotta think about the long game. The long game? Familiarity is a scary thing, my friend. Sure, people are bitching and moaning about this shiny new tax, but once it becomes a regular part of life, they'll move on to the next thing to bitch and moan about. And that's when you start gradually turning the screws. Every time you hike it up a little, you'll get some more blubbering. But they won't be screaming bloody murder like the first time you introduced the tax. Wanna know why? Because they'll be used to getting screwed. If something they've already accepted gets a little worse, it's just the facts of life don't work, don't doing what they do. So if you want to pull in the cash, you gotta have a plan to really amp up that sales tax. Majima-san, I'm getting goosebumps. And I think you're terrifying, actually. Are you even of this earth? <laughs> you really want to know? No, not really. Then if the sales tax were to be raised, how high do you think it should go? How high should it go, huh? You're starting at 3%, right? Let's see here. Yeah. Maybe around 5%. I see, 5%. Yes, considering the burden it represents to the people, that sounds appropriate. But I get the feeling that would only be a temporary solution. That so? I'm just thinking what I'd be comfortable with, personally. I'd be pretty pissed if it were higher. Maybe if we went from the initial 3% up to 5%, waited a little longer, and then hiked it up to the proposed 8%, then eventually Good. we'd... Enough of the muttering under your breath, Taiyu-chan. Oh, sorry. I was lost in my thoughts. Majima-san, I'm so glad I took the time to speak with you. You're a wealth of ideas. Yeah? Glad I was useful. Useful doesn't begin to describe it. Please, take this. It's just a token of my thanks. Ashwood? Okay, I better get going. I need to get back to the hotel and prepare my presentation for the tax conference tomorrow. boy. Do your country proud, you hear? Hi. Will do, Majima-san. I'll be sure to work in your advice. See you! Whew. Never figured I'd be in a position to give a guy in the business of running a country advice. Taiyu-chan seemed to get a handle on how to go about jacking up taxes, too. Good for him. Huh? Wait. Jacking up taxes? Did I just... If taxes go up, is it my fault? N nah. No way. There's the temple. Hello. Ooh, I need a heal. Being a witch.
two million. I need money. Hanya tattoo outfit. Toughness emperor. Tonier. Stamina royale. Gold plate. Mad Dog of Shimano, Slime Gun, Steel Crossbow, Crowbar, Hawker's Belly Warmer, Stone of Enduring, Twenty Four Hour Prince Outfit, One Hundred Pieces of Iron, One Hundred Pieces of Timber, Fifty Pieces of Quality Iron, Five Scraps of Bloody Cloth. Three demon face stones, super spicy knife, antique gun, sacrifice stone. And three B parka, frozen sardines, toughness emperor, tonier, stamina royale, platinum plate. New higher outfit, gold ingot, silver ingot, dragon tear, dragon whisker, elf photon blade prototype, diamond blade, diamond plate. Okay. Better value for your money when giving agents extra funds. The more you walk in these strange socks, the more your money will multiply. They don't appear to have any effect in combat. But also Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
on, pick it up. Oh yeah, let's go back to... Oh, it was up here, wasn't it? There it is. I apologize for the noise. Can we? Well, that was easy. Buddy, I'm flat broke again. Dodge! Ah, oh, you cannot dodge well with this, Majima. Why did I even try? Get up, get up, get up! Wow, I didn't expect that. You're pretty good. No shit, Sherlock. Better be more careful when you pick your victim next time. 
Huh? Guess you didn't notice that I was holding back this time. You'd be dead if I hadn't. As if. I'm so sure. Seriously, if you die, I can't shake you down again later, so I have to make sure I keep you alive. Yeah? They don't hold back next time. We'll see if the result's any different. Well, I'm done for today. I couldn't get my money, so there's no point hanging around here. I'm going home. See ya. He's a dumbass, but strong. Gotta be on my toes in, the, in case I prevent him again. This is all just boosting health, huh? I'll take it. Let's see what Thug has. Be nice. Oh well. Now we save. 